So we have reduced the time from 60 to 45 minutes and we will tell you now why in the next slides. So only really less than 1%, maybe every fifth hundred or thousands of game, right? It's just longer than 40 minutes. And um, because of the last point on here in the slide, um, it decreases server load if we reduce the time and enable also more sessions um, for us of the servers. And this is a, again, will increase the performance of servers and also reduce the um, the load of hardware, like CPU load or et cetera on the servers. And because of this, I mean, we've seen the numbers here, it's under one under 1%. 1 so we hope um, the benefit is big by changing the, the mission time. And also the benefit is big for you because you should get a better server performance at the end. And uh, obviously we will monitor uh, your feedback guys as well uh, to see how you like this change. But I know uh, a lot of you are happy about it and uh, we can make adjustments if needed. But for now it is going to be 45 minutes. Correct. And uh, okay, then let's uh, talk about the big one uh, that I know people have been waiting for a long time and asking for it constantly. Uh, let's talk about the ping limits that we are adding. And don't worry, chat, don't go crazy just now. Uh, it's gonna be fine. So uh, let's take a look. <laughs> yep, so first, um, as I mentioned, we have a globally open game. What you can do in other games, for example, um, you can restrict areas. You can only play in US, you can only play in EU, you can only play in Asia. You're not able to switch between these um, areas, right? But we would like to still give you the chance to play globally. But there's some restriction now, and that's also one of the reasons why we introduced the ping limit feature. So the first one is, so the ping limit is at the moment and set to 225 milliseconds. That is the first start. So based on the statistic we have seen, that is a good number and a uh, very important point is that you are still allowed to play with your friends. It doesn't matter if you have any ping of 1,000, 100,000 or, or 5, <laughs> you can still play with your friends globally, worldwide. If you play alone, you are affected of this rule most likely, but if you want to play with friends, you can play with them, it doesn't, ma doesn't matter in which region. Yep. And because, as I mentioned, because we're getting some kind of a control environment now with this um, new feature, we sh we're reducing the server-related latency a lot. Mm -hmm. And this is also then a benefit for you that the server will run much better. Uh yeah, I just wanted to mention that uh, obviously uh, when we were working on this feature, we kept you guys in mind. I, we know that uh, all of you or a lot of you like playing with friends from all around the world. So this was very important to us that that should be still possible. And we basically targeted the, uh, those players that are trying to exploit the system to gain an advantage uh, by uh, abusing the ping. So uh, we're focusing on those people that uh, are using it exploitatively and at the same time trying to uh, keep everyone happy so uh, you can still play the game as you like in the normal way absolutely and uh yeah so this was just the highlight of this but let's dive into the actual rule set uh, exactly and also how the exceptions work let's see correct so as i mentioned you the new maximum ping limit is 225 milliseconds so as i mentioned that's the start point okay we have seen we're getting the feedback we can change the number um, anytime but for now, that's a starting point. We think that um, it will benefit um, the servers, which will also benefit you and will also benefit your gameplay experience. If you see some people who lagging around the map, right? Um, so it's a starting point. Maybe in the future, we will improve it to a lower number. But for now, it's 225 milliseconds. Yep. And then also um, reforcing, as I mentioned, if you're playing alone, let's say you have a ping of 250, you are from Australia, you want to play on the on the EU server um, and you have a ping of 250, you are not allowed on the EU anymore. So you can check the servers in the overview and you can only select the server which is under 225 milliseconds or the rule is the best server you can get. Even if you have ping of 1000 on every server, the server with the ping of let's say 1001 and the other 1003, you can still play on the server on 1001. So you're not excluded of the game. So only then the, for the, the server with the best ping is possible for you. Yeah, we will sh uh, show some examples of this in a second in image form as well, so you can actually see what happens in the game. And uh, we right. also made some changes to how the region selection is highlighted and uh, how that works. 
So uh, yeah. there will be some different colors. Uh, uh, I can go through it as well. Uh, so we will have the blue font available for all uh, those regions with a golden background, which are the best regions for you. So optimal regions uh, with the best ping available. Then uh, with an orange font uh, and gray background, these will be the regions where your uh, ping is uh, medium or not super optimal, but still very playable. So you can easily select those. And then obviously the red one that... Uh, Stefan already mentioned, uh, like you can see on the Asia one up there, it will be grayed out and you will be logged out of that region. And, right. and here is the screen, so you can also see an image example. Uh, and uh, as you can see, it even warns you that some of the regions are blocked out for you because your latency is too high, so you have to select from very slower. And uh, in this example, you can see that the two US servers are too high, uh, Asia is in the middle, and Europe uh, is where you can optimally play with the best experience. Correct. And also, if you click on the play button and you have a higher ping, this screen will appear automatically and will tell you, please change your region. Um, so. Don't worry, you don't need to do something manually then. Even if you click on play, you will get reminded, please use the server if the best thing, yeah. yeah. But there are exceptions. Exactly. Let's see, uh, like as we established, the base rule is the 225 ping, but uh, there are some exceptions, which are the following. Correct. I touched a little bit two slides before. So the first thing is the best part reading really has higher ping than... Uh, 22, uh, 222 uh, milliseconds, blood, player can still select the best ping region, as I mentioned, so don't worry, you can play anytime. Yeah, just to, uh, again, uh, uh, tell people what it is, if, let's say, you're playing from uh, the Antarctica and uh, your ping is everywhere higher than 225, then technically you wouldn't be able to play anywhere. But uh, obviously we want to ensure that everyone can uh, still play Hunt. So we will allow you to choose the server that has the lowest ping out of all the other servers and you can continue playing on that server. And then let's look at, at the second uh, exception. Yep, so that is of course very important for you. Um, invite from a friend to reach where your ping exceeds the threshold, but you're still allowed to play it, but you're getting a warning, uh, warning pop-up that means, yes, you can play with your friend, but it could affect the gameplay experience because of the high latency. Um, but that's the only pop-up we um, just providing at the moment, but you can play with your friends. Yeah, so this was for uh, duos when you get invited by one friend. And obviously you are also able to play in teams as usual. Uh, and uh, in both of these cases, actually the one that invites the others is the host uh, lobby. So the numbers, uh, the ping numbers will be calculated based on his location. Correct. Yeah, as you already mentioned, Ben, yes. Yeah, it's and same. same thing. And uh, yeah, let's just see at some screenshots which uh, shows what happens. Uh, so this is the first exception where your ping is uh, higher in every region than the allowed one. And as you can see, you can still select the lowest one to play on. And then uh, here you can uh, see that uh, when you get invited into a game, the game will warn you that your region uh, has changed and that uh, you may uh, it, it may impact your gameplay if your ping is too high. And uh, yeah, I believe that's uh, it for the region, look.